Well, there we go. Got it. Got it. Okay. Okay. The character from The Simpsons is called Nelson. Oh. Nelson Muntz. So there you go. Oh, Nelson. Guardian reading suburb of Manchester. That's oh. Charlton. Tom Hardy. Oh, nice one. Oh, oh, very good. Very good. I like that. Yeah. It, this is uh, Pendle Town Hall in Nelson in Lancashire. Oh, oh. oh I can see where you're going now. Famous Tory Edwardian poet is yes, Hardy. Thomas Hardy. Hardy. Yes, so oh, kiss me, Hardy. So Whoa. there's, there's Rodan. the kiss. Rodan. Is the kiss? Is the kiss? Kiss me, Hardy. Well yes, that is kiss me, that is square is... The square is... Trafalgar. Trafalgar. Trafalgar Square. And the station, the station is... That's Euston, isn't it? No. Waterloo. 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 Okay. Uh, okay, so basically it's just changed and snaps and... Where I was oh, that's gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Well, there's another picture from a slightly different angle. That is the uh, HMS Warrior, which was a hundred years later than the picture, which is stuck there in the harbour. Um, we stayed about, I don't know, 25, <laughs> 25 meters from the dock. So it was it was really nice. Staying in a, the Keppel Hotel. Really. Ooh. This is a, a modern ship. This is a, it's not an aircraft carrier, but it, I don't know what you call a carrier that carries helicopters, but there you go. It was kind of a great big modern Yeah, ship. big boat. It's a big boat, isn't it? The older ones are much prettier, aren't they? Aren't they big. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It has a certain charm of its own. Uh, it was quite impressive. Anyway, it's kind of an eye struck. Um, the, the victory was the main part of the day, on, on one of the days anyway. Uh, sadly, uh, it's a bit like Manchester Town Hall. It's surrounded by scaffolding and... Uh, oh, isn't that marvellous? What a wonderful picture. So, so there you get the, the, the prow, but the rest of it was completely covered in sheeting. Um, I, like, I like your finger at the top. <laughs> yes. Okay, I always, I always need Bernard to keep you in order. <laughs> I, I often do that. <laughs> I do all the time. The um, So I, I was rather in trepidation about going on board because I thought, well, if that's what it's like on the outside, what it's like on the inside. But in fact, um, it was it was delightful. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it in a very sort of 12-year-old schoolboy kind of way. But there you go. It was sort of, but, uh, I'd gone spots on them. I love Portsmouth. Um, and there's the ship's drum. There's the captain's hammock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what pretty embroidery. Yeah, it's kind of, um, well, Captain Hardy was six foot four. Oh, and wow. the proverbial brick outhouse. And uh, there was only one point in the ship where he could stand up straight. Is that the original flooring? It just looked like looks like tiles. It's painted. Ah, right. it's not tiles. It's painted on the wood. So uh, it's the original floor. Yes. Well, as original as anything from 1765 can be. Mm. Over the years, things have been replaced and stuff. But there is quite a lot of it. It's original. Uh, it was built from 2,000 oak trees. Uh, if you can imagine, mm. that, I do. Um, why is this hammock on wheels? Um, that looks like a cannon, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. I, well, I don't know. You're right. It is on wheels, but I think presumably they could move it because because it hooks on at the top. Uh, this, this rail here. So maybe they could put it in a different place. Maybe get a better view out of the portal. I don't know. No idea. I'm just rambling now. So there we go. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Oh, there you are. England expects every man will do his duty. Um, all over the dockyard, you've got these this array of flags. Even in the cafe, there's a huge display of them above. 
terrific cafe actually it's enormous um but oh. tables well spaced and uh, everything ship shape you know what i mean okay. um originally his message was england confides every man will do his duty but he changed it at the last minute to expects are those the flags that send the message yes why have I... you only got three letters in each bernard i don't know <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> just, just any questions at the end of the time. Uh, this is the Admiral's dining room. Oh, that's spacious, isn't it? And, well, yeah, this is the place I think where Hardy could stand up straight. You know? mm. he, of course, was the captain of the ship, but uh, Nelson was the Admiral of the fleet, so he was. So, um, but it, it's very grand, beautiful furniture and all the rest of it. Um, slightly contrast with the the men's quarters, which are, are in some cases there are like twelve hammocks in a row, all right next to each other. Some of the hammocks are thrown between the guns, um, and the sort of mess table in between. So the the, the lives would be fairly restricted. Just... How many crew were there? 820. Well, let me Question I can answer for you, Bernard. Thank you. This is nine, I think. Midshipmen were the junior um, trainee officers, I suppose. Uh, non commissioned officers like the bosun. There were about 120 Royal Marines, um, gunners, and riflemen. Uh, and the rest were able bodied seamen. Uh, ordinary seamen, so even even seamen themselves were uh, classed differently. Uh, there were about twenty young boys, powder monkeys. Um, that's about the best I can do for that one. Oh yeah, and of course there were people like um, there's a the big uh, carpentry workshop on the ship, and there's uh, the shipwrights and people like that. So the, the whole industry going on there on the ship. There's the uh, galley. Um, would you happen to know what able-bodied signifies? Were the others uh, weaker? <laughs> able-bodied able seamen were the ones who they were more skilled than the. They did they did things like the rigging and the sails and the ropes and all the rest of. It. There were twenty six miles of ropes, um, keeping the sails up. So uh, there was a highly skilled job. So okay, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, ordinary seamen. I bet the kitchen wasn't as as clean and spick and span <laughs> as that. Yeah, it looks very oh, modern, oh, sort of in a way. It's rather no. nice, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's very kind of uh, yeah. home, home counties. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> presumably that that's it's mock actually. Fire. The, I mean, this is uh, this is presumably uh, you know modern replaced a mock up. Yeah, it, mm. it, it's. But it's pretty much as it was. There are there are paintings which show it in a similar kind of way, uh, and wow. it takes it. Come on, you're feeding eight hundred and twenty people. Um, yeah, it, it's uh, it must have been very hot too, because of course oh, it's low be low beams and everybody moving. People must have all been round shouldered. I don't know. There you go. Uh, mm. uh, there we have a square meal. This, no. is, oh. this is where we get the idea of a square meal from. That's amazing. It's, uh, because of the movement of the ship, it was hard to use plates and things. Mm. Uh, and so they used to serve them on this this wooden plate. But anyway, that's where your square meal comes from. Yeah. Amazing. Um, I didn't realise it was that. This is the uh, carpentry shop. The, wow. Uh, mm. Constantly, <laughs> there were... Uh, Remember, this was a man of war, so there were okay, whatever skirmishes would be damaged and all the rest of it, and they were constantly yeah. fixing things, replacing things, and all the rest of it. And uh, th this is not, I, I, I couldn't get a picture of it on the ship. This is after, this is from Google, but in fact, on the ship, much of many of the tools and the things look to be pretty original, they look pretty old. It's quite convincing. Here, alas, kiss oh. me. Kiss me hardy. This is uh, Nelson's farewell. Um, I thought Nelson was quite small. He was quite small. 
Uh, well, he's bigger than Hardy there. Artist license, Bernard. <laughs> Give me a break. Yeah, making making him a lot more important. <laughs> You're like being challenged every second of the way. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. There's, there's some controversy over what he actually said. Don't some people say he didn't say kiss me, he said kismet. Oh, kiss me. <laughs> kismet. Um, now, what oh, does I've kismet mean? Too. The end or something? Right. It doesn't make. Well, whatever. I'm going with the legend, that's all. But it, yeah, uh, let's go with it. We like that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> there is Captain Hardy. Uh, he's great. Oh, he's six foot four, but he was a great big, broad shouldered, heavy, heavy built man. So, Gosh. Um, Looks like he's holding his breath. All these buttons that pop off if you like. Yeah, he's yeah. sucking his stomach in. Look at his tummy in, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Well, we all do that. I'm but... sorry. <laughs> We're being very flippant this morning. Yeah, I'm sorry, yes. We, we'll take <laughs> it more seriously. Apologies. <laughs> okay, and then there, there's a picture of the... Uh, oh, that's the... Uh, Just, stunning. Just stunning. One of the middle decks. I uh, can't remember what they call that day. There's the original launched at Chatham Dock Yard, May 1765. Um, it was it took about eight years to build. There's the hold, um, barrels on one side, uh, ballast on the other side, which you could move around the ship according to how things were going. Uh, the sail that the sailors had a a diet of about five thousand calories a day. Oh. But of course, they would probably work that off easily because of the, yeah. the physical nature of the. And they drank between five and eight pints of beer a day. Uh, in in many cases, they were better fed than they would be on land. <laughs> Nelson was pretty keen on them, making sure that they. I mean, they had salt meat, salt fish, uh, dried food, and stuff. But uh, it, it, whenever they went to port, he made sure they took on lots of fruit and vegetables. Okay, I didn't. I haven't got it to punishment, but punishment was quite severe on the ship. The cat and nine tails was used, and if anybody stepped out of line, they were severely punished for these things. There, there, there's it's it's in dry dock. It's been there since 1922, and this oh, dock sure. specially built um, for it. Um, quite impressive. I mean, you go right down into the bottom of it, and you can see the the keel of the ship, which is. Uh, Beautiful. Really impressive, yeah. And uh, this kind of, this, uh, the oak in there, keeping the, the wood safe and waterproof, yeah. Um, you, we, we talk about things being first rate, second rate, etc. and it actually relates to um, ships of the line in, in the 18th century. First rate ship would be victory. Uh, and it's not based on quality or class or anything like that. It's based on number of guns that it carried. So I think um, the uh, the victory had something like a thousand guns. Second rate ship had 850, 653, et cetera, et cetera. So um, in those days, second rate, whatever, was, was actually to ships. And of course, it's been subsumed into every which meaning other things now. Mm. too much in it. Uh, there's some Fantastic maritime paintings. Um, mm. This chap um, is this artist. It's called uh, William Lionel Wiley. Oh. He's born in eighteen fifty one, so he's painting obviously after long after the date. But he died in nineteen thirty one, mm. and in nineteen twenty five, yeah, these, these were. I think the, these paintings are terrific, but uh, if you like. Maritime painting. The uh, you think of um, Turner's painting, the Fighting Temeraire, which is based yeah. on one of the mm -hmm. <laughs> Battle of Trafalgar. But uh, this uh, this gentleman Wiley, here he is painting uh, a diorama in nineteen twenty five, helped by his daughter. Uh, she's she's tall, isn't she? He's, Please he's, sit him down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, this chap was 
when he was he was painted he was in his early 70s 73 74 something like that and the, there is a picture which i couldn't find of him climbing ladders painting this terrific diorama which is in the oh museum. that's oh, that's fantastic lovely. It looks oh, like a very beautiful. modern thing, doesn't it? It looks like it's on computer. It's, it's probably about, you know, 12 feet high. Um, Gorgeous. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, this is the victory here. And this is, I think, is the Temeraya here. But it's a terrific thing, yeah. Um, and I think it was painted by a, a man in his mid-70s, so there's hope for us all, really. You know? Oh, yeah. yeah. The next thing I was looking at, I spent ages looking at these, so you'll have to, well, we haven't got very long anyway, the figurehead. In the days when every seaport had its figureheads to show, queens, princesses, sea nymphs, witches, girls of all sorts, row on row, with smiling faces and their outstretched pointing hands are reaching out across the water lanes that lead to far off lands. Cicely Fox Smith, 1882 to 1954. Um, this, they've got a collection of... Wow. It's just fantastic. Brilliant. Beautiful. Look at these. Um, oh. yeah. <laughs> and, and they all tell a story of a different kind, you know, kind of uh, this sort of different parts of the world and all those sorts of um, Neptune there, I guess. <laughs> um, okay. Then move, and that's, you know, that's the end of victory and all the rest of it. There's a spinnaker. Um, yeah. Yeah. Started over a bit uh, on the last day, but. Um, there it is. It's, uh, not sure why it's. Anybody know why it's that shape, Bernard? It's supposed yes, to be I like do. sails, isn't it? And things yeah. like that. Sails. It's a spinnaker sail. There's mm. a sail called a spinnaker. Uh, but it's very much the, the the one in Dubai is a similar sort of thing. But it's uh, it's probably bigger than the one in Dubai. This is very impressive. Mm. Um, and we went to the top of it. So. Um, Ooh. Like oh, I've not been to the top. Yeah, over Portsmouth. Yeah. Uh, um, it's quite a spectacular view, actually. Uh, and and uh, looking out to the Isle of Wight over there. There's that uh, HMS Warrior that I was telling you about. Was, uh, <coughs> trees there behind the white sheets. That's, that's sort of the uh, This is old Portsmouth. So. Um, <laughs> uh, Portsmouth was very badly bombed during the war, so yeah, uh, not much yeah. of it left, is it? Yeah. Like so, uh, yeah. Which which novel, which Jane Austen novel, features the harbour, the port of Portsmouth? Oh, um, Persuasion. No, um, Mansfield Park. Yes, it's Mansfield Park. Yeah. 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 Very good. Or of the, what uh, are those things on the left in that last one? Go back. Yeah, go back. Go, which, what are those things in front? Like memorial stones, don't they're they? little memorials. They're, uh, yeah, memorial stones too. Oh, they got names Dave written on them. It's, 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 these are, um, I think this is the Falklands, I think. Oh, right. So, uh, yeah, uh, Dave's not here. He will. Yeah, it's like not, a, not very prettily made, are they? No. There's another pic, another pub there. I've oh. eaten there several times because we always go from Portsmouth when we go. To France now. Uh, just before I left, uh, I decided to go to the Isle of Wight very quickly. Uh, so we got the uh, overcraft. Well, no, it's not that overcraft. It's uh, that's too quick. That's a twenty minutes. I mean, and the thing is about the hovercraft is you've got to stay indoors. But uh, on on this, this was a car ferry basically to Fishburne. They, they do allow. Uh, Passengers on, but they don't allow any. There's no concessions to them. You have to queue up with the lorries and the cars to get off the ship, so it's quite dangerous actually. But Waterloo is a red herring, of course, um, because that's Trafalgar was where Nelson met his Waterloo. Oh, oh. Uh, oh no! <laughs> but uh, it was also part of my journey. I, I from when I was in London, I had to take uh, arrived in Euston. And the train to Portsmouth goes from Waterloo, so they move. So that's it, folks. Um, Thank very you. Good. Very good. Yeah. Yeah.